I'll ask you some questions, uh, Nushka and Aryan, both of you. I think many people are interested to understand about your preparation journey, okay, uh, toward these places because many people are interested to know how they can reach these seeds of knowledge and uh, do some great work with some great people. Uh, so uh, the first part is what are the exams you you faced? Like the I I think you, both of you took SAT perhaps and uh, I didn't take it okay so there you go you see uh, rules and exceptions to the rules anushka says uh, he did she did not take the sat Ari, aryan did you take the sat yeah i did okay. <clears throat> yeah so sat is usually mandatory but i think just because of the pandemic it became test optional recently yeah they did not consider so so i did not take it Okay, so for this year, I think SAT was not uh, mandatory because of the pandemic, but otherwise. So, um, uh, Aryan, uh, could you tell us about a ballpark score that you think would be a good place to start? Um, so, for the SAT, so I didn't take ACT, so I can't really speak to that. But the SAT, um, I think if you're aiming for some of these like top schools, um, my ballpark was always like, High like fifteen fifty and above. So you want to aim for like the upper half of the fifteen hundreds. Um, and obviously as close as you can get to the perfect sixteen hundred. But I don't think that there's too much of a difference between like a sixteen hundred and a fifteen ninety and a fifteen eighty. Like that's all like one question here or there, and that's just dependent on are you having a good day or did you miss bubble one question. So I don't think that makes too much of a difference. As long as you're in that top 1500 range, I think it's a good spot. Okay, that's 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 great. So, uh, how much time did you invest in preparing for SAT? Because you had other things going on, right? Yeah, so I didn't spend too long. Um, so, I pretty much started studying a few months before. Um, probably half a year, maybe even a year. Um, and that too, it's just I focused on the English section, the reading and writing. Um, the math isn't too bad, I think, if especially if you've been like preparing for math competitions. Uh, so coming back to Anushka, what other um, exams did you take? I, I know that you took, for sure, both of you took um, several mathematical Olympiads. Uh, so uh, Anushka, could you tell us about what are the Olympiads that you appeared for and what were your like uh, scores? And yeah, I qualified INMO in 8th grade. After that, there was I participated in EGMO thrice and I will be participating in April as well, this April at Hungary. And other than so just that... To, just to interrupt Anushka a little bit, <laughs> I would like to say this to everyone who is watching. Anushka, when she says she qualified for INMO in 8th grade, it is... Uh, INMO is the Indian National Math Olympiad. So after that, it's like USMO if you're taking from the United States. Uh, it's a final level of mathematical Olympiads in India. And eighth grade means, I think she was one of the youngest. I was the youngest. I was the youngest okay. one. So Anushka is the youngest, um, uh, was the youngest INMO already at that point of time. So that is awesome. And then EGMO is uh, European Girls Mathematical Olympiad. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, so fantastic uh, she did really well in those counters uh, and that i think really helped right what do you think yeah i think it really helped great uh now let's come to aryan a little bit aryan what i i know that for sure you took the amc american mathematics competition right yep so could you tell us a little bit about that yeah so the amc is <clears throat> um i'd say the most popular high school test that students take um, in terms of competition math. So AMC 10 and AMC 12, very similar tests. AMC 12 is just slightly harder because it's geared towards 11th and 12th graders. Um, and then it's just, it, like, performing well on the AMC, you ultimately want to qualify for the next level called the AIME. Um, and that's, like, it's called the American Invitational Math Exam. And it's, so, the combination of your AMC score plus your AMI score um, eventually qualifies you for the next level, which is the USAMO, which I think I mentioned earlier. Right. Um, so these are just the most popular math tests that you want to take. And these are purely comp 
computational. Um, you just write down your integer answer. So I think these were important, but at the same time, there's some of the other tests that are more proof-based, and they give right. you practice writing out your solutions. Um, so they're a little less popular, but there's still a lot of people take them. Um, one of the biggest ones is the HMMT. So it's actually the Harvard MIT math tournament. Um, huh. So that gives you some practice with harder level problems that are a little bit of computation, but also a lot of proof writing. Right. Those type of tests are also to take. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. So, uh, of course, performance in the Mathematical Olympiads really helps, I think so as well. Uh, as a teacher or as a people, as a person who have worked with other people over the years, I have seen that this has been a very useful component of the application process. Now, there are two other components which are, I think, personally equally important. Uh, if you have some sort of a research project, maybe that helps. And if you have some sort of a work experience, even at this early stage of life, uh, that helps. Uh, these are these are obviously my assumptions. And uh, Anushka actually started teaching at Chinta as well after yes. a certain point of time, very early. I mean, um, she nice. was. Yeah, she. I think. Yeah, she got INMO and then then she started teaching. She was in ninth grade when she started teaching at Chinta as well, and. Uh, then um, she also uh, ended up working on a project called Center for Girls in Mathematics in Chita. And then mm, her sister is also planning to join that. So that's, I hope something nice will come out of that. Uh, and uh, Aryan, on the other hand, she, uh, Aryan actually participated in uh, several activities, projects. Could you tell us a little bit about that, Aryan? Yeah, so uh, the most recent one, I worked with like the business development team with Chinta. Um, I did like an internship there, and we basically developed a curriculum for after-school clubs uh, here in the U.S. that basically give teachers or like high school students the material you need to start like a math club um, to help prepare students for competition math. Just because we realized that in school, you don't learn much of the math you need for like competitive math. It's more of the academic, basic geometry, algebra, um, which is very different than what you need to compete in like the AMC or the AMI. So we designed this curriculum, um, like 26, 30-week curriculum, and it, ha it covers all of the biggest topics that you need to know for these competitions. And it includes like handouts, homework problems, solutions, so it's like it goes a full nine yards. Um, <clears throat> I think that product's been going really well. That's awesome. Yeah. So in, uh, just to make sure everyone understands what Haryan is saying, uh, if you go to our Chinta North America YouTube channel, you can see that Aryan has dozens and dozens of vid videos that he made for this particular project. And it actually stands on a research project that he did earlier, uh, which applied graph theory uh, to contest mathematics. So uh, he tried to create a model uh, of uh, effect efficient learning in for contest mathematics, particularly for AMC. So it was a very interesting experience. Uh, in fact, uh, it was one of our, so Chinta started these research projects about a couple of years ago. And Aryan was actually one of the first kids to take such a research project. So I think it's very, it's a very interesting learning experience. And uh, he did really well in there as well. So um, that's, that's great. And the third thing is the, um, so if you have a great Olympiad experience, if you have some sort of a research project, and if you have some sort of uh, work experience or teaching act activity. I think these three things combined makes your journey very exciting and it's also very effective in the long run for this sort of uh, career approaches. Uh, in fact, if you, uh, whoever is watching right now, if you are a student, 
I see Shorodip is here and some other kids are here as well. Um, you can also check out the Math Circles program at Chinta. Math Circle is working with rural kids. So it's a free program for kids in remote corners of India and kids from other, so Chinta students basically, they are mentoring these kids. So that's a sort of a work experience that you can readily use. And you don't really have to be a Chinta student to do it. Anyone can do it. You just have to, and it's free. What you do is you just help these kids, rural kids, twice every month. And it's a wonderful experience. You meet people who are farmers' kids, who are Aboriginal people's kids. I mean, who have first-generation learners. So it's, it's very nice, actually. Basically, I'm pitching for more volunteers for this particular project. It's my dream project, actually. Uh, if we can take the Olympiad experience from urban India to rural India, then I think great things can happen.